So let's take a look under the hood. Um, first off, we'll take a quick look at the directory structure. Um, basically, we'll be working inside of this KCAD Flash Framework.fla file. We have a certificate. I'll talk a little bit more about that towards the end when we're publishing um, for Android developer. The assets folder. Um, now, this is a folder that I leave open for students to put all of their Photoshop files, Illustrator files, artwork, sounds, videos, all of their assets. They're going to go into their application to keep them within the application folder, um, but still have an area to keep everything together, but keep all of the important parts that they can't change around untouched and unscathed. Uh, we have a couple of default loading screens for the iPads, um, some icon files of different sizes, uh, some other certificates, mobile provisioning files for iOS. Um, we have the application descriptor XML file, um, which this is a lot of what goes in behind the scenes um, to make sure all the published settings are set up properly for Android, tablet, and iPad devices um, so the students don't have to worry too much about that. Um, we have the actual Android file, we have the AS file which is the main class which holds most of the underlying code for the framework, the Flash file will jump back into, the iOS file, the Swift which is the web based version, a uh, readme file which uh, gives some instructions that I'm pretty much going through in this video. Um, then we have a SWIC folder for external libraries, um, the SWF folder and the video folders um, are both included when the application is packaged because these are made for the students to enter in your own SWIFs and videos and load them into the flash file.